Hello and welcome to another edition of the Sports Corner presented by the Nino Times where we cover everything related with Charlotte Athletics. This week has been an incredibly busy week for the Charlotte 49ers, so let's start by looking at the away game started with volleyball. The Charlotte 49ers won against Elon 3-0 on their game on Wednesday. Next, the 49ers proceeded to participate in the Mountaineer Classic starting by defeating App State 3-0 on Friday. The team lost against Wake Forest 0-3 but defeated Bellarmine 3-1 on the second day of the tournament. The team is now 7-3 in the 2021 season and they will play against Chapel Hill on Friday. The women's soccer team won 3-1 against the College of Charleston here at the Transamerica Field. Macy Bader scored two of Charlotte's three goals, earning her first two goals for the season and her career. Kiara Prowl was also able to score it at the 32nd minute. The team has yet to lose a home game. The 49ers lost against UNC Wilmington 0-3 this past Sunday. The team is now 4-3 in the 2021 season and they will play against Southern Miss at home on Thursday. The men's soccer team lost against VCU 0-2 on Friday. VCU scored during the 36th minute and the 66th minute. During the second half, Charlotte dominated the run of play, but they ended up coming short. The Charlotte 49ers won against UNC Wilmington 3-1 on Tuesday. The team is now 3-2 in the 2021 season and they will play against Niagara on Sunday here at Charlotte. The Charlotte football team won against Gardner Webb 38-10 on Saturday. Quarterback Chris Reynolds broke the 49ers all-time passing record. It's a special moment. Um, it's a credit to everybody I've been here with. Charlotte rushed 245 yards and three touchdowns in the first half alone to build a 20 to 10 halftime cushion. The 49ers then held the running Bulldogs scoreless in the second half. Charlotte opens the season 2-0 for the first time since 2015. I think the coolest part about this football team is we're going to be a really, really good football team by the end of the year. We're not there, and we shouldn't be. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we haven't peaked game two. So. Plenty of stuff to work on. I mean, these guys are, uh, they're hungry, they're humble. Um, I think week in and week out, when you have opportunities to win, you can continue to push process. It, it, it's not gonna change from last week to this week. The question is how much more will, how much more consistent will we be in what we did? The 49ers head to Georgia State for the first away game of the season this Saturday at seven. Thank you for joining us at another edition of the Sports Corner. Don't forget to pick out the newest copy of the Niner Times. I'm Maria Solano signing off.